Now that we know that every circuit requires power, load, and ground, our job is to find out which one is missing. When we're diagnosing a circuit, that is our main goal, which one is missing or defective. Let's take a look at this and see how easy it can be. Imagine that this is a circuit, the words power, load, and ground, and I'm going to put a fault in one part of the circuit and see if you can tell which one is missing. Okay, so where's the fault? Is it the power that's missing? Is it the load? Or is it the ground? This seems too easy. Let's try that again. Here we are with our power load and ground again, and I'm going to put another fault in the circuit. See if you can figure this one out. So which one is missing? Is it the power? Is it the load? Or is it the ground? Come on, it can't be this easy. Let's try one more time. Here we are again with our working circuit, power, load, and ground. Let me put one more fault in this and see if you can figure it out. So obviously it's the ground that's missing this time. While this seems like a little silly exercise or activity, what if I told you that there was a simple voltage measurement that you could make to determine if the power side of the circuit is missing or if it's defective? And the same with the ground side. You could determine if the ground side of the circuit is missing or defective. What if you could use a voltmeter? Then you'd be able to isolate which one of these is missing. And it's not as hard as it seems. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how you can easily figure out from a picture or schematic. You'll have a circuit that's not working. You know now that it's going to be either power load or ground that's missing or defective. And you will be able to make a test or two. Usually it takes no more than one or two or three tests. And in some cases, you can almost diagnose the whole problem just from the picture based on what other devices on the car are already working or if they may also have a fault. As we move into the next video, I'll show you examples of power load and ground on a schematic and what they would look like. And then we'll get into what voltmeter readings will tell us which one of these are at fault.